We're at the University of Leeds encampment, protesting the university's complicity in genocide. The connection with the arms company BAE in the shape of research partnerships and also how they're welcomed during careers fairs. The other demand is to basically acknowledge what's happening in Palestine. They really have a strong stance on what's happening in Ukraine. And so we want the same thing to be acknowledged and to start suppressing the voices of students protesting. Basically, our university is employing through a charity, an IDF reservist chaplain who voluntarily went to Gaza. He came back and was welcomed by the university. He violated some code of conduct with the university because he sent questionable images through a WhatsApp group chat. Many Jewish anti-Zionist students were in that group chat and felt isolated and not safe. Some professors who were being critical about Israel, uh, building sort of a political, safe education uh, space in lectures, were sort of targeted by Zionist students and Zionist management and they were kind of warned that you know the messaging had to be changed that they shouldn't be talking like that so that kind of led to them being monitored by university and in some cases not being paid so it's been around seven months of campaigning since october during those seven months we sort of tried the official bureaucratic ways of asking our university to consider and to have a conversation with us. When those ways were rejected, that's when we decided to sort of escalate occupying Parkinson building. The main response was to kind of incite the same sort of narrative that we're violent, anti-Semitic, asking us to stop the occupation and then proceed with official dialogue. They locked us in without food, without water, didn't let a student get their insulin. The occupation ended with a meeting with senior management. It was really sort of uh, disenchanting the meeting, but we managed to make them break their own occupation protocol, that they will not come to an occupation and start a dialogue with the students. Obviously we had to escalate because the demands weren't met. The main poster that we have at the outreach table is come and join us and join one of the working groups. We have a media group that sort of deals with sort of the, uh, trying to get uh, the wider university community to understand what's happening over here, inviting more people. We have a legal group that's sort of training everyone on our, our rights as students. Um, and then we have a working group on um, de-escalation, because sometimes, unfortunately, we have some altercations with Zionist students and Zionist uh, people and middle-aged middle people that come and harass us. So there's people that are sort of more trained to kind of de-escalate situations if you're not comfortable with, and then the well-being group, which is basically just dealing with being in this space, feeling burnt out. He had sort of a violent encounter with security at the student union. We decided to march into the awards and invite all the students to the encampment in a non-violent way. We put like a list every so often of the things that we need and people just come almost immediately with the things that we need. So if people are willing to cook for us, that's a, a really great thing to support us. Donations, we're doing events. People are trying at these encampments to make sure that people connect the dots and that we dismantle the oppressive system at a system level.